The clean, safe drinking water that we perhaps take for granted here in Gippsland goes through a careful and complex journey between falling as rain from the sky and coming out of your tap at home. We'd like to take a few minutes of your time to explain this process so that next time you have a glass of water, you'll understand a little more about what we do to make sure your water is clean and safe. The whole process starts at the water catchment. When rain falls, the water trickles down a series of connected rivers, creeks and streams. Along the way, it picks up a lot of dirt and other materials. Before arriving at the water treatment plant, the water must be pumped from the waterways or reservoirs that are designated to supply different regions in the Gippsland water area. Gippsland Water owns and operates 17 water treatment plants. These are connected by around 2,000 kilometres of underground pipes. If laid out straight, that's enough to reach from Terwelgen to Brisbane. When the water reaches the treatment plants, it's still in no state for drinking. There are four main steps of how we treat water to make it safe for you to drink. Larger parts of dirt are easier to remove than fine particles, so to help the dirt bind together, a chemical is added to the water. This process is known as coagulation. Soda ash or lime is also added to adjust the pH so that chemical reactions can occur. Following this, the water is mixed thoroughly to properly combine all the chemicals in the water. Next, another tank gently stirs the water to help the dirty particles bind together into what is known as flock. In older water treatment plants, the heavier flock particles sink to the bottom of the sedimentation tank, leaving the cleaner water at the top in a process called clarification. In newer water treatment plants, we mix the flock with micro-fine bubbles of air so that it floats to the top of the water. This forms a scum-like substance which is periodically removed. This process is known as flotation. Sedimentation, clarification or flotation are different methods for separating solids from water. The vast majority of dirt is removed in this part of the process. After separating the solids, the water is sent on to the filtration step. Filtration involves running the water through a large filter made up of sand, gravel and coal. This removes the remaining flock particles that may have made it through the flotation and clarification processes shown earlier. After leaving the filter, the water needs to be disinfected to ensure that it is safe to drink. Chlorine is used in this part of the process to destroy waterborne microorganisms that have the potential to make customers unwell. Chlorine is the most widely used disinfectant in the water industry across the world due to its reliability and cost-effectiveness. After disinfection, and where mandated by the Department of Health and Human Services, Gippsland water adds fluoride to the treated water. Finally, the water is transferred to a clear water storage, which is a covered storage tank designed to keep the water from being contaminated. It is regularly tested to make sure it remains safe for customers to drink before it travels through a series of underground pipes to your home. So, the next time you're about to turn on the tap, think of the journey it takes before it comes out clean and clear. Falling from the sky and travelling down creeks and rivers, through kilometres of pipes and through water treatment plants, all the way to the water in your glass. It's a long and complex journey to bring safe, clean drinking water to you.